Hi guys, today's video is going to be about how to connect your Gypsy CRM to your Facebook account and Facebook leads so that you can create funnels. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is start off by going to our settings at the bottom of the menus option and we're going to click integration. When we get to your integrations, you want to make sure that you have recently or already connected your Facebook and Instagram accounts. While you're here, go on and connect your Google account. You can, if you have Stripe or PayPal, QuickBooks, um, Google My Business, and Shopify are all integration friendly um, with G Gypsy CRM. So now that we have your Facebook and Instagram ads created, the next thing you're going to want to do is head on over to your Facebook business suite or your what's now called Meta Business Suite. There, you are going to want to get into your ads campaign. From your ads campaign, we are going to create a new ad. And the purpose of this ad is going to be get more leads. Um, that is going to be the goal. So in this goal, we are going to collect information using the Facebook form. I have a form um, for an ad that I'm running um, for Lee Bora Bora. So this is the form that I would like to use. Um, you could pause here and you can click on create new form, give your form a name, um, select um, any of the predetermined fields that you're looking to collect. I feel like the best way to go is to collect their name and email address or name, email, and phone number um, and maybe a question or two, um, but pause right here and um, go into your form collection, I mean, form creation. So I'm just going to select new form or I'll use my current form and select next. And then here is your ad preview. So you want to pause here, create your ad, and let's come back. All right, now that your ad on Facebook is created and it is now either in review or live and active, the next thing that you want to do is return back to Gypsy CRM and click on automation. From your automations dashboard, you will click create a new campaign. You want to give your name a campaign. I like to give my name or well, root name. Um, the name of the app or website that I'm starting um, my lead funnel from. So for me, I use Facebook Lee Bora Bora as that is the name of the campaign that I'm running. And you can name it however you like. Um, and once you do that and you get into your new campaign dashboard, I'm gonna just kind of click on the one that I set up today. It is going to bring you to the option of creating your campaign. Right now, my campaign is in draft mode, but what you would want to do is create by clicking on actions. I'm sorry, not actions. You want to add to your campaign. Now that you're in your campaign, you want to scroll down and create add event um, to create your first event. My first event is actually a text message that says, thank you. Um, are you ready to say I love you in Bora Bora? And just some information to let them know that I'll be reaching out to them directly from this number. The number that I've selected is actually tied to my Trillo account. Um, and once they receive this message three minutes after submitting the Facebook lead form, they will get an email within 10 minutes. So when you look at the text message, um, you can see a preview of how that text message will look. You can con create the, tr the conditions as to when it will send. If you don't want anything sent over the weekends or too late in the evenings, you can customize that time. The same would go for um, emails. You can select um, your emails from your email template, or you can create one from scratch within the actual email editor here for your campaigns, which will be like a one-off email. Um, and then you can tell it to wait or conduct the next 
action. You can also tell it to wait or send after, immediately or before. You can sub select your parameters to the right. Um, once you do this, the next step would be to add a trigger. So let's head on over to adding a trigger. When you're looking to add a trigger, you would just scroll up to the top of the screen where it says triggers next to campaigns. So in your triggers, you're gonna wanna set up, I already have one set up, but let's take a look at it. You're gonna wanna click it, click new, or not new folder, but add trigger. When you do that, let me show you what my trigger looks like. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is which event should trigger this automation. I'm gonna select Facebook because it's either gonna come from Gypsy or Facebook. So Facebook is my trigger. Um, Facebook lead form is submitted. If you just leave it like that, it's going to trigger off of any and ever every lead form that you currently have running in your Facebook ads account. So you want to make sure that you do add a filter and actually select in form, meaning the form that is, um, well, the form from within Facebook leads, because if you, if you don't, select the specific form, any form could trigger this automation. The step two is what you want it to do once the lead information is within Gypsy CRM. So I selected add update and opportunity. You can also add things like add to contact tag, add to campaign, um, add to Google Analytics, add notes, assign to a user if you have another agent in your agency remove, um, send an email, send a notification or a text. Um, I chose to add them to my vacation client pipeline as a new lead. The lead tag is going to be lead Bora Bora V-Day and that my source of where my lead is coming from, where's this opportunity source, is going to say Facebook. If you like to give your leads a value, meaning a monetary value, you can also select that here. Um, for the purpose of this video, I do, or my, my ad, I'm not doing that. But the second step is I would also like to perform an additional action. Um, that is to say, add to a campaign. Uh, we created a campaign. So you're gonna wanna add to campaign and then select the campaign that you would like them to be added to. Which action should come after that is that you can add a tag. I added a tag by creating new Facebook lead, Lee Bora Bora. If you don't have your tags set up already, it's okay. Soon as you start typing um, a name of a tag that's not there yet, it'll give you a blue plus sign so that you can add that tag into your CRM. Once you do that, you just click save and we're off to the next step, which would be to test things. You do want to make sure that your actions have I mean, your actions have your filter and your automations set to active and not to draft, because the fifth and final step would be to test out um, if this workflow and lead funnel is working for you. And the way that we would do that is through the Facebook developers um, test leads um, website and I'll show you that as well.